Thank you, Senator Sifuno. I, w I was really hoping that when you were talking about the uh, honey suckers, and uh, you informed the House that they discharge their sewer in rivers, and we have that problem. Senator Cherergei. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for this opportunity to make a few comments on the report of my sister committee of county public and investment. I think in the last session, Mr. Speaker, it was a joint committee, and uh, I'm happy during that session, Mr. Speaker, we were not able to look at these issues, and I know they are very busy because they have to look back for almost, uh, Mr. Speaker, for from 2013 because during the public investments, we could not look at public accounts in the last session. But I'm happy in the wisdom of the Senate, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, we have seen the need to have a public investment uh, committee. And I'm happy to, uh, in this report of 2019-2020, I'm happy with the pace at which the public investment committee of this house is doing its work, led by the deputy party leader of ODM, my brother and friend uh, and neighbor, Senator Otsotsi, for the good job that he's doing, Mr. Speaker. And for us who interacted with Senator Otsotsi in the last session, he was a fiery uh, legislator who almost, uh, uh, almost younger miss at one of our principles, but I'm happy nowadays he's more calm. Mr. Speaker, on oh, the issue of Amatsi Water Service Company Limited in Vihiga, Bomet Water Company Limited in Bomet County, Gusi Water and Sanitation Company Limited in Kisi, Nyamira Counties, and this is where we have problems even in waterworks, Mr. Speaker. Remember, for example, uh, Nandi, we, there are many shared, Mr. Speaker, even in Nandi, we have a loaded water and sanitation company that covers both uh, Wazingishu County and Nandi and part of Lesos. Uh, in Nandil's constituency, we have Kisumu Water and Sanitation Company in Kisumu County, Kwale uh, Sewerage and Sanitation, Nyeri uh, and Sanitation Company, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, where our Munyoro village is. Mr. Speaker, on many aspects, I want to be very clear, uh, Mr. Speaker, on many issues. I agree that our most of our, uh, Mr. Speaker, most of our um, companies are on the red water companies even capsabet water and sanitation company mr speaker for example water and sanitation company is under in nandi county where we still depend on generators and electricity to pump water into capsabet town mr speaker and its environs we had expected that the government would expedite the construction of a cabin dam mr speaker which was upscaled to 24 billion Kenya shillings, Mr. Speaker. I know there are a number of dams across the country, like Tuaga Dam. Uh, dam. There is also uh, Carmenu Dam, Mr. Speaker. There is Posta Dam in uh, Bomet. There is also Itare Dam in Nakuru. Chemasusu Dam was complete. We had one, the Aror and Kimware uh, Dams in Elgeo, Marakwet County, Mr. Speaker. We have two rivers in uh, Wazingishu, Mr. Speaker. We have the one of Sondu Dam that is was uh, supposed to cost for 40 billion, that is between Kericho, Nandi, and Kisumu counties, among other dams across the country, Mr. Speaker. So it is very important that water is life, water should be accessible, Mr. Speaker. If, if a society were to reach a point that water is more expensive than soda or any other beverage, Mr. Speaker, as a society, we have collapsed. I know in northern part of the country, we still have challenges of access to water. And they were, we remember we were being told that there is aquiver waters, especially in Turkana and that northern Pell, where we were being told up to 70 years access to uh, underground water, to especially regions in your county like Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, among other counties in the northern frontier, Mr. Speaker, is very critical. As a society, Mr. Speaker, when you don't have domestic water for domestic use to drink, Mr. Speaker, there were many years ago, there were a clamor for changes in reforms of water sector, Mr. Speaker. Even, Mr. Speaker, as we grapple with the challenges of access to water in eastern 
and northeastern parts of this country where the you know ours is rain fed mr speaker we are lucky from where i come in nandi the the reason why we don't have so much challenge of access to water for domestic use drinking and other usage is because of rain fed kind of uh, access to water mr speaker in fact even uh, coastal waterworks in mombasa kwale kilifi and uh, ca uh, counties that border Indian Ocean, Mr. Speaker, there was even a proposal of Mzima Springs that is not sufficient. We need desalination of, uh, uh, because the ocean water is salt, Mr. Speaker. Those are some of the access to create water uh, in these areas, Mr. Speaker. But yeah, can you believe in, uh, living in Nairobi is li like living in some eastern or northern eastern of this country? Because, Mr. Speaker, water only appears... Uh, in Nairobi, uh, like medicine, Mr. Speaker, no one is sure. That is why the thriving business of water bowsers in this city, Mr. Speaker, where at the moment uh, there are many water bowsers, even in your, when you drive in the uh, Nairobi roads, Nairobi streets, Mr. Speaker, you will always put water bowsers. It's a booming business. Because, Mr. Speaker, I don't know it was by default or by design, where the supply of water has collapsed in this city, Mr. Speaker. We were being told the northern corridor of Muranga should provide sufficient water, addition sufficient water to Nairobi city, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I can tell you many Kenyans, 4 million plus residents of Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, there is no difference with people who are living in Wajiro or Turkana in terms of access to water. You have to buy water, which is expensive in terms of household expenditure, Mr. Speaker. You know, many families across the country, Mr. Speaker, spend 60% of their income on food, food be inclusive of water, Mr. Speaker. I think that is a challenge as a country we must grapple with. And, and I think uh, as a country, our people should be able to access clean and safe water wherever they are, 50 million plus, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, we want to ask counties, because most of these water and sanitation companies are domiciled within counties, Mr. Speaker. We want to ask, Mr. Speaker, we notice, and I want to confirm that we don't have smart meters. Where you still have clerical water works, the meter readers. I'm told the first president of this republic was a meter reader in this city, Mr. Speaker. I, and I know Senator Okia Omdata might be aware because he's good at litigation that he was the meter reader, Mr. Speaker. So you get people, clerical still uh, go and read, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I don't know, you know, you can be a meter reader and become a multi billion in this country. So, Mr. Speaker, when you go and they still read it physically using motorbikes, using access, and then write, Mr. Speaker, we need to introduce smart meters so that we protect and ensure accuracy in terms of declaring in the financial statement. And I think water, work, water sanitation companies should introduce, Mr. Speaker, smart meters so that you don't need to be there. Even Kenya Power and Lighting and Company, although that's another, it was a, one of the, the scandals that did affect this country was provision of smart meters in Kenya Power and Lighting Company. We need smart readers, smart meters, so that our people, we can know. So, Speaker, you know, I, I was shocked that these meter readers come and read and then go and ab approximate how much you will pay. But if you had smart reader, it gives us the precision of a military marksman what you should pay in terms of access, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, even it will also assist non-revenue water, Mr. Speaker. Because the fact that that water is lost, it means that revenue is lost, Mr. Speaker, in terms of non-revenue water. And therefore, we need to have even, Mr. Speaker, uh, and technological error. Kenya is boasting of being one of being technological savvy, Mr. Speaker. For example, we need to ensure that we have GIS, Geographical Information System, Mr. Speaker. When you have ge Geographical Information System, Mr. Speaker, GIS, it can tell us where is the pipe leakages, where there is pipe bus, the way Kenya uh, Pipeline Corporation are using in terms of GIS. Say that if you are taking fuel from here to Eldore, to Kisumu, these pipes that KPC all the way from terminal, Kipevu terminal or wherever in Mombasa, they should be having a GIS to detect water leakages so that you prevent non-revenue water and loss of revenue because water is spilled or the pipes are burst, Mr. Speaker. So when we have GIS, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I hope uh, the committee led by my brother has noted this, it will assist in terms of ensuring that when you have geographical information system, it can detect the way we detect fuel when there is leakage. They can become precise, Mr. Speaker, and be ensure that 
we can be able to detect any leakages of water or burst pipes in the system or infrastructure within. And I hope uh, other companies, like when, whether it is coast uh, companies, whether it is in Rift, whether it is in Nairobi here, it should be able to use GIS, Mr. Speaker. It is something that is easy. And I hope, Mr. Speaker, uh, we should not be told uh, uh, counties or when they are upgrading to GIS that it is taking one or four billion. The way the ICT infrastructure upgrade was done in terms of uh, the upgrade of NHIF and Sham, Mr. Speaker, because you know the, the, the funny part, and Senator Eddie will tell you, the funny part with an infrastructure of up, you need upgrade, you don't own it. It becomes absolute. So when you pay a lot, like the way you are paid one or four billion, for infrastructure in terms of NHIF, then there is a big problem because that software you will keep it improving, Mr. Speaker. Then, Mr. Speaker, on the issue of what I am happy that uh, there is a report. I have seen there is a, a version, Mr. Speaker, of a mediated version of Water Act. This, Mr. Speaker, should resolve the issue of Water Trust Fund. You remember the amendment that was brought, uh, what we call the Water Amendment uh, Bill of 2023. The intention was to reverse. Mr. Speaker, contravening Ford schedule where water and management and water work, water sanitation and uh, access to water was left to counties, Mr. Speaker. You remember there's still animals called water works. Like now we have coastal uh, uh, water works. We have like Victoria North where Nandi, Kakamega and Figa and other counties are falling within. We have like Victoria South water works. We have Central Rift water works. We have Tana water works. We have Tana Adi Waterworks, Mr. Speaker. These waterworks undermine devolution. In fact, these waterworks, Mr. Speaker, should be completely taken off. For example, in like Victoria uh, North Waterworks, where Nandi is, the headquarters in Kakamega, but when you go there, it's only they have hired only one tribe, and yet it covers my county, Nandi. It covers Vega, it covers Kakamega, Mr. Speaker. I think was in Gishu, was removed. It is now in Central Rift. We are suffering. Most of the development in Lake Victoria, not in terms of even drilling water in schools and hospitals, Mr. Speaker, and other community centers. They are only drilled in Kamega and Vega and other areas, but Nandi is left out, Mr. Speaker, because of perception that this region, Mr. Speaker, and, and it undermines Article 10 or principles of good governance and national values, Mr. Speaker. So when you look at Lake Victoria, not Nandi, when you look at the projects that come to Nandi through that waterworks, as opposed to other regions, Mr. Speaker, it is very unfair. And I think it is high time we disband and ensure coastal waterworks, no drifty waterworks, Tana, other waterworks, any other waterworks in the country should be disbanded because they let the counties and the county governments run those waterworks under the water and sanitation companies. And I hope in the next report the PIC committee must tell us that we need to bring down all waterworks because that is where the bastion of corruption is. The, most of the dams that I mentioned, like Tuake, Carmenu, Posta, Itare, Keben, uh, and other dams, Mr. Speaker, including Sondu, and including no, not, not Rift, uh, and even Aurora and Kimware, are run by specific waterworks, Mr. Speaker. These same waterworks are becoming bastions of corruption and inefficiency, inefficiency and ineptitude, Mr. Speaker, at running, Mr. Speaker. Number three, most of the boards that run these uh, water, water companies in counties and sanitation companies is becoming a big challenge. For example, even in Kapsabet, where I come from, Mr. Speaker, we don't have a functional sewerage and sanitation, Mr. Speaker. It was done by the Mzungu that is near Kiropket, behind Kapsabet town, Mr. Speaker. That even environment impact assessment has not been done by NEMA. In, in, in terms of Mr. Speaker, when you go, we are trying to do one in, was in, uh, in uh, Nandi Hills town that has been, uh, has been given to a contractor near Kosoiwa next to Nandil's town, Mr. Speaker. The water and sanitation in terms of sewerage and, sewerage and sanitation should be efficient. Most of the sewerage and sanitation, Mr. Speaker, can you believe, most of them were constructed by Muzungu. I think uh, Senator Manza, Ma, Mungatana said something that as Africans we need to be careful. We believe that Muzungu money will change us. It will not change. If we want to remove the present neocolonialism of running, Mr. Speaker, this nation, Mr. Speaker, we need to agree, Mr. Speaker, and, and in terms of, we need to improve that infrastructure. I am happy that as we even do affordable housing, Mr. Speaker, we should also work 
with ensuring that we have a proper sewerage and sanitation for the affordable housing program so that we have a complete circuit so that when you live in a house you are sure of access to water you access to sewerage and sanitation because mr speaker most of the sewerage and sanitation areas are next to public places and the public where people live mr speaker and i think uh, it is important that that we do that mr speaker uh, mr speaker the regeneration of water sources i have seen Nairobi regeneration program where the government is trying to hire most of the young people mr speaker uh, and, and ensuring that they have access mr speaker number five of course the issue of uh, water service provider in terms of wa bulk water uh, program mr speaker purchase agreement we must agree water should be accessible mr speaker there is a song in reggae that uh, a society becomes dysfunctional when there is nothing that is of development mr speaker you they sang that when you look outside the window do you see anything to smile about mr speaker when you see there are more prisons and i think it is lucky dupe mr speaker unfortunately it was felt by as i said mr speaker you remember the song no one can stop reggae uh, and last time we could not say that because people of Azimio, like senator manzo was using it no one can stop reggae you remember mr speaker i think in 1987 peter tosh uh, was felt by the assassin and lucky dupe mr speaker went to sing about no one can stop reggae mr speaker and uh, in fact last month mr speaker we are remembering peter tosh because he's one of the biggest vibrant in terms of reggae agenda mr speaker i know mr speaker people are listening like senator Eddie are listening to trio mio like the makumak who finished kumalo mr speaker and uh, i'm told there is a new one called yani mr speaker uh, where there is new mustingos to takufa kifo yamenda mr speaker so mr speaker what what we need as a country even as we do regeneration of rivers within mr speaker is important we want to ask mr speaker even in provision of bulk water agreement and i want to see mr speaker the mediation report and i want to thank your office on the water uh, water mediation report we must agree that let us stop undermining and reversing issues that me. and mr speaker all of us who are seated here you know one of us said that i want to become the deputy president mr speaker many people will become governors my brothers and sisters are senators if we do not protect evolution you will go back to become a governor in mcqueen when my brother has finished 10 years don't interfere with him in 2027 when he has finished 10 years senator manzo you don't want to go and run a county government that is a shell mr speaker senator Otsotsi, I know your governor is going for the last term. I know you don't see eye to eye, but you don't want to go and inherit a county government that is dysfunctional. Mr. Speaker, as we talk, the counties are yet to receive their disbursement contravening Article 219, Mr. Speaker. Even in Garissa, Mr. Speaker, your governor is serving the second term, but your ambitions look beyond the governor, the governor level, Mr. Speaker. But the point I'm trying to make, let us not be part of the people who will legislate ourselves out of business. So that we can, we, I remember Senator Ojila Yako when he was a senator here before my brother Senator Edi, Mr. Speaker, and you know he was the only young man in Nyanza who campaigned with an helicopter. So it looks he is a man of means, Mr. Speaker. We used to tell the people like Senator Ojila Yako, the current governor, that we need to protect the evolution. So that when you go back to become the governor, Mr. Speaker, you don't suffer. Mr. Speaker, let us be careful. Even on this report of water mediation version, I want to ask colleagues to be very careful. Senator Otsosi and your committee, you need to assist us. I have seen Senator Kisang, part of the PIC members. I have seen uh, Senator Edi, who is a member of PIC, Mr. Speaker. Let us ensure counties function into the uh, fruitation, Mr. Speaker. Even the issue of uh, running of the companies. I saw, Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, you saw Northern Corridor that is providing water to Nairobi. They need to be compensated. Even in Nandi, Mr. Speaker, we are giving water to Kakamega, but in Tuya Bay, there is no water. In Kapkangani, water is no water, yet we give our water to Kakameka. You go to Chebara, where my brother Senator Kisang comes from. Water is taken to Eldoret. The people of Chebara are not receiving access to clean and safe water. Yet they are protecting the source of water that comes to Eldoret. We are protecting the water that goes to Kakameka. Muranga is protecting water that comes, Mr. Speaker. I know even in Garissa, it's only a kilometer or so within Garissa town, but there is no clean and access water. Mr. Speaker, yet the Tana River is just passing outside the city of Garissa. 
But there is no clean and access water, Mr. Speaker. We must speak as a Senate that to ensure the evolution works, access to water, bursary, adequate medical supply, passable feeder roads, that is how the evolution will work with this, with, this, uh, with this country, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with those very many remarks, I want to, to submit, Mr. Speaker, and, uh, and support the motion. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.